Hey all here, OS Reviews. You're watching our hands-on review of the Hides Key. This is a quote-unquote digital key, so it uses Bluetooth to connect to a computer, and essentially using that Bluetooth connection, you can then walk away. Based on proximity, it will automatically log your computer so that no one can access it. And when you are back sitting down, it will detect that and unlock it for you. So it gets rid of the need to type in the password each time. Technically, this concept of a smart Bluetooth lock we've seen before by Gatekeeper, which came out in 2014, the second generation model called the Halberd, which we reviewed earlier last year. Um, so this is actually priced at $50, which is the same price as the Gatekeeper. However, it does have a smaller design with more colors to choose from, which could be more attractive for customization and also promises to have a few extra features. It's also secure, has an OTP generator and two-factor authentication for keeping the passwords that you're storing on the uh, product itself safe. And it's compatible with many devices, including mobile platforms like iOS and even Android. It's using a Nordic processor in addition to a CR2032 cell battery that can last up to six months uh, after you need to swap it out. All right, so the packaging here is very simple and straightforward. So we've got some simple specs printed on the back, your only digital key. And there's a magnetic door or a window that you can open to see what it looks like on the inside. We have the black version. Inside, we have just the hides key itself with a lanyard hole with an included keychain in addition to the quick start guide. In terms of design, it's a perfect square. It's very portable and small. And it reminds me a little bit of the Tile Bluetooth tracker that we've checked out in the past. Uh, but anyways, we have the hides key logo over there. And on the back here, we also have the lanyard strap, the company's logo printed once again. As a quick size comparison, here it is next to the aforementioned mentioned gatekeeper halberd. You can see that the halberd is significantly larger and also uses a coin battery that you need to swap out. Over on the mobile side, the app is called Hides Safe, and it's free in the Play Store and in the iOS Store. And here's a very quick demo video. So again, it's very portable. It also acts as an RFID lock. So you can physically open doors of buildings that you work with uh, or, you know, a school. Uh, so that's another secondary feature that we didn't see with the gatekeeper that's added here. So again, the password here can be securely encrypted and stored on the uh, hides key itself so you're able to then kind of sign in automatically without having to type in the passwords again um, and when you walk away again the computer is just automatically locked and you can see the devices that you can guard mobile devices bitcoins or even a bank account uh, technically with the hides key. So proceeding through setup, now one thing I forgot to mention is that this little strip here is actually an LED and a button that you can physically click on to switch between the different devices you're connected to. And there's also a mono beep speaker as well. And we are now paired, so it uh, will automatically connect using Bluetooth. And uh, right now it's just trying to verify things very quickly and we can change the name of the key here. Let's just keep it as is. All right, so once we are finished setting up with the password and account information, you can technically use that to sign in even on any web browser. So you can go on a computer and still log into your account using the same uh, email and the password that you set up with. So you can use a web UI in addition to the app on a mobile device. So either way, you can log in uh, to your account. See the alarm. So uh, when you are about to lose your valuables, you get a notification when the radio signal strength from your hides device falls below low the level you indicated. So in trusted places like in the house, you can set a geo fence and it's not going to ring, but maybe if you're outside and uh, the di distance between the phone and the tracker is lost because it's out of range for Bluetooth, which is 10 meters or 33 feet, it's going to ring. You get an alert also on your phone that maybe you've forgotten your wallet or your keys. Touch guard is a really interesting feature. So essentially, if the tracker is out of range, uh, so again, 10 meters or 33 feet, and it notices an intruder, it will start taking pictures of them um, just using the front facing camera on your phone or tablet. So once again, you can change the sensitivity in terms of the range of the tracker before this mode is automatically set up, uh, as well as the shooting frequency. So maybe an image every three seconds when a face is detected using the front facing camera and then email to you with the photos and evidence. All right. And returning briefly to my passwords, this is what kind of the screen looks like. If you add a password uh, on the uh, phone's app, you will notice there's going to be a name that you can set and then the website URL that you want, followed by the kind of login password down below there and also a secret question. And you can save it and uh, it will keep that on file. 
Um, so it's pretty easy to set up uh, even using the app. Now, you'll also notice a security level sign on the very bottom, so that just tells you how many of the features you've used. So I've turned on the theft alarm, I've turned on the touch guard, so my security level has increased from zero to two. And if I also start managing some passwords and also data backup, I can further increase the security level, say up to five, which is the maximum score. Basically trying to get you to use more of the, the features they have built on in. Um, you can tap on show more here, and you can also do things like look for the device. So again, it will try and find it based on proximity. So if I kind of take this away, um, you can see the strength will also start to drop. Uh, I can also bring it back and hopefully the range will also increase. I can tap on this again to use the alarm on the beeper to make it sound. Tap on it again to make it stop. So as far as the mobile device is concerned, that's actually pretty cool. Now what you can't do is actually use this as a lock for your mobile phone, however. So on Android or iOS, you can't actually use this in place of a unlock pattern or a code that you would enter on the lock screen. So you still have to do that yourself. Uh, really for a mobile device, what it only does is track your passwords in addition to act as a theft alarm uh, for your keychains to find your devices and also a touch guard for taking photographs of people who've maybe stolen your phone. So on the computer, we've visited the Hides website. Under Downloads, we can tap on the Hide Safe for the respective operating system. Windows, in our case, it also works with Mac OS if it's running on El Capitan or later. After signing in with your account, you can add the device. So we're going to open up Bluetooth settings and try to connect it with the Hides key here. Now this brings me to one point of difference with this and the gatekeeper that I just remembered, which was that the gatekeeper for the computer part actually uses a IR receiver, a nano receiver, just like on a computer mouse or keyboard that you may already have. So in the box, it includes this USB dongle that you plug into the computer for it to work as a lock. And then for the smartphone, it uses Bluetooth. But with this, uh, the hides key it uses Bluetooth for everything. And that means if your computer doesn't have built-in Bluetooth, you have to purchase a USB dongle yourself because it's not in the box, um, otherwise it won't be functional. And I mean, there are pros and cons to both solutions. With the gatekeeper, because it requires an external dongle, if anyone just unplugs this dongle from your computer, it basically will no longer function. Uh, with Bluetooth, it's in the pro it's in the computer settings, so it's a lot harder for someone to tamper with without unlocking your system. So which solution is better? I'm honestly not really sure. So there are pros and cons to both. So we're still having some issues with pairing the hides key using a Windows computer. The Bluetooth is still searching on and on. So I've tried going over to a Mac over here, but uh, the issue is if we tap on Mac OS for the software download, it will redirect us to a page, update.hides.com, which says that the software is unavailable or the page is not found. So I really hope that the software is just being updated right now or for whatever reason the servers are down because it would be bad if you know macOS users are simply unable to use this thing because the software isn't available. All right, so switching over to another computer with Windows, uh, finally the setup is at least working and it's actually found our uh, hides key without any problem. So again, moving away from the device, our computer will lock itself out so we can uh, enter our computer's password for the login. And it's going to verify that and now it's done. There's also tutorial videos, but we can tap on finish and if we just walk away now, we see that the machine has been automatically locked. And after coming back closer to the computer, you can see it's been automatically unlocked. So it is indeed working just like with the gatekeeper, you can set the proximity. So if it's more sensitive, it will try to unlock faster uh, before you move away too far away. But if you have it at the maximum setting, maybe it's only going to lock your machine when you are 10 meters away. So you can adjust this accordingly. Other things you can set here include, again, managing all the passwords you want to keep. So you can import a CSV file. So that's uh, a comma separated values. So you can use any notepad or even Excel document to type in the passwords and you can import it all at once or do it manually one by one. So you can tap on add for instance and you can Again, the interface is very similar to the mobile device. Enter the website, the account name, the login, and the password, and you can save it. And uh, the next time that you enter that uh, password field, simply tap on the button once, and that information will be automatically filled in. Other things you can do include various key combinations, such as double tapping on the key to unlock the machine, single tapping to manually lock, triple tapping to automatically fill in to a certain website. So again, all of that can be programmed using the app. So that's more or less it for our hands-on review of the Hides Key Digital 
lock. I think that it's a very clever concept, it's portable, it's fairly easy to use. It's a great way of increasing security for your computer just by automatically locking it using that proximity system and also for phones to automatically take photos. Plus, since all the information is saved on the key, you can also come up with more complex co password combinations because you're not actually remembering it in, in your brain. So you can have entropy or variation and change for each password on different websites instead of using the same password every time, uh, just saving it using the hides key and then tapping on it to just simply unlock you know, the, the website login page. Downsides would be the fact that, again, it is using a cell-based battery. I do wish that these manufacturers would start using a micro USB for charging because I think a rechargeable battery would make a lot more sense. I also think that they need to sort out some of the smaller bugs, such as with macOS, the download is not working right now. And again, certain Bluetooth devices are seemingly a little bit difficult to pair with the key. Overall, I think this is a more feature-rich version of something like the Gatekeeper at a similar price. And if you're interested, you can find out more details in the links down below. But for now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That's been our hands-on review of the Hides Key.